Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up a function caller uh, for your local large language model. It doesn't have to be um, a local model, it can be externally hosted, but anything will work fine. Also I will be adding um, all the code used in the video and any libraries used um, to the video description. So the library we're going to be using is called LLMX, which is a simple library for uh, creating different kinds of agents for large language models. Um, so the first thing we need to do is pip install LLMX. So let's do that right now. Now I already have it, so it shouldn't install again, but okay. Um, and from LLMX, we need to, from models, we need to import the model that we're going to be using. Um, which is Olama Chat. So I'm using um, a locally hosted Llama 3 model using Olama. But like I said, you can use um, any model you want, and I will be showing you how to uh, set up your own um, model in a couple of minutes. Uh, the next thing we need to import is from agents, we need to import the function caller. And I, that's pretty much all we need. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is initialize the, um, the large language model that we're using. So we're using Llama 3 instruct um, hosted with Olama uh, locally. Um, and I found that Llama 3 works pretty well for, for this kind of use case. So, And then after that, we need to get our function caller. So function caller. So we need to pass in a couple of things here. So the first thing is the large language model that we're using that we just initialized, so LLM. And then we need to give it a list of functions. Um, so we don't have any right now, so let's actually create those functions that we want our uh, model to be able to call. So we'll do a classic get time. Uh, we'll do a add function so that the model can do math. And maybe a multiply. Okay, and now we can add those functions to our list. Um, okay, and that's pretty much all you need to do to set up the function caller. You don't need to do any um, custom prompts or schemas or templates. Just pass in your functions, and everything will get set up in the back end. Um, so to get a response from our function caller, uh, we just do response equals fc.get function. So this get function is basically we give it a give a question to the model and it will give us a function that we should call. So let's do the classic, you know, what time is it right now? Okay. So the response we're getting is a dictionary. Um, so there are actually a couple different things that we get back. So the first is the function. Um, we also get the parameters. And if we want it for any kind of reason, we also get the prompts that we that the system used to generate the response it did. So in this case, really, we, all we care about is the function and parameters. So I'm just going to say function equals that and the params. And so let's actually print what function we got back. So we can do function name. Okay, and let's run that and see see what we get. So you can see that the function that the uh, model chose is the get time function. So now you might be wondering how do we call that function? Uh, and that's pretty simple. So we already have the function. Uh, so we just call it like a normal function and we just pass the parameters that the model wrote for us. So there we go, and that should call the function. So let's try that. Uh, so we actually need to import time. We forgot to do that. There we go. And you can see, so we got 12 a.m. So what happened is here, what happened here is the model gave us the function time to call. It gave us the parameters to call with, um, and we just called that function, and we got the time. Another thing I would like to go over is the way we define the functions. Um, so you can see that we gave it parameter 
subtypes, and that's kind of important for the AI to understand what the type of the parameter is. Um, for more complicated functions, you should also give it doc string documentation. Uh, so you know what the function does and what the parameters are. And you know, for a simple function like multiply, the AI can understand from the name what it does. But for more complicated functions, you should absolutely give it um, clear documentation of what the function does with the parameters. Another thing I would like to show you is how to use your own LLM, you know, something other than Olama um, with LLM X. So doing that is actually pretty simple. All you need to do is make a class um, called my LLM, for example. Um, And all it really needs is a ask function. And this ask function takes in a prompt, uh, which is a list, a list of prompts. So that list is actually in the format of uh, you know, the classic prompt. Uh, so it has the content um, and the role, yeah, like that. And it will have, usually it will have a system prompt and a user prompt. Um, but you can convert that into any kind of format that you wish. So your ask function should take that prompt and return the, um, the response from your LLM. So we'll just do a response as an example. And with that, you just you can just initialize that and pass that into the function caller and it should work just fine. But yeah, I think that's all for this uh, video. Thank you.